Hello Cancers, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know. Whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Cancer, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. All right, Cancer. We're going to start by taking a look at your energy, and then we're going to be looking at the energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with. Cancer, you have the Ten of Swords, the Devil, the Four of Swords, the Moon, the Five of Pentacles. And the two of cups so the outcome looks good the way there looks difficult so let's get into this and this is your energy but we will be taking a look at the energy of the person that you're dealing with too i feel like you're trying really hard to be caring or compassionate towards a person uh cancer because i feel like you are a very caring and compassionate person but there's somebody here that I feel like I just feel like somebody's hurting you. Okay, I definitely feel like there's somebody that you really want to make this like you want to make something work with this person. You want to you know create something with them here, and I feel like you're trying to be fair. You're trying to be understanding. You're trying to be compassionate, especially with that justice and that empress energy. Um, but I do feel like you could feel you could feel a little betrayed, um, or you could feel like somebody here is ending things. For some of you guys, somebody. It's somebody you're currently involved with and you feel like they're ending things and you, you're trying to be compassionate, understanding because from where they're at, where they're coming from or what's going on with them, that I feel like it's painful. Um, for others of you, this is already somebody that things have ended with, okay? And it's just really on your mind and that's the situation. You're feeling like you're really, you're really thinking about this, okay? Like, is this ending or if it did end, you're really thinking about the ending, you have the devil energy in your heart space. So I feel like you could be trying not to obsess about the situation, but for some of you guys, I feel like that's a little easier said than done. Um, for others of you, it could just feel like this is getting to a very unhealthy place. You feel very connected or like very connected and attached to this person, whether you want to or not. Um, that's how it feels. Um, some of you guys, I feel like you've tried to detach. Some of you guys, for those, that, for those of you where you've been in separation from this person, I even feel like you guys have done like cord cutting, um, but you still feel their energy. You still feel very connected to them. For those of you where you're still involved with this person and this is something that like you're thinking is leading to an end, it just feels like you're still feeling like you're still feeling very connected to this person. You could be feeling like things are getting to a very unhealthy place, but I also feel like this devil is just representing a ton of fear, okay, that you're having. Maybe that something is coming to an end here. Now, you have the four of swords for your intention. I do feel like the four of swords can be a card of like rest, recovering. It can be a card of healing and reflection. I feel like you are trying to kind of take a pause. I think you're trying to breathe. I think some of you guys could be pulling your energy back here and um, some to reflect. Some of you guys are just reflecting on the connection. Okay. I feel like you're trying to get your feet under you here. For those of you where you've been in separation and you're just trying to process, I feel like you're just trying to heal. Okay. Um, but I feel like you feel like this person needs to be the one to like communicate. You feel like this person needs to be the one I'm um, putting the effort in. And I just feel like that's because of the situation with this person. Now you have the uh, moon energy here for the challenge. I just feel like it's a lack of clarity. Uh, you don't really know what's going on. You don't know where it, if there's things that you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen next. And it's like you're feeling like you need to move forward very cautiously. And there's just a lot of uncertainty here. Now, you have the five of pentacles for your next action. I just feel like this is you feeling very left out in the cold. Um, you could feel that. You could feel very hurt by a person. You could just be missing them as well. Now, the outcome, like I said, looks positive. You have the two of cups. I'm feeling at the very least a face-to-face -face conversation, but it could be coming back into alignment. But let's take a look at their energy and see what that looks like. Like I said, I feel like somebody's really hurt you here, um, either by ending things or, you know, 
with our current actions. And I feel like you're trying to be like caring and understanding and compassionate for whatever this person is going through. But it's hard. It's hard. Show me this person's energy towards cancer, please. Show me this person's energy towards cancer. What is their energy towards cancer? All right, cancers. You have the they have the Queen of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Judgment, and the Nine of Swords in the reverse with the Page of Wands. So Okay, for those of you where you're still involved with this person and you've just been feeling like things are coming to an end because of this person's behaviors and actions or lack of actions, I definitely feel like this person is recognizing some of that. I do feel like there's going to be a conversation. The Queen of Swords to me can be a, having a major conversation. It can be a card of clarity and understanding like they are finally figuring some things out here. It can be a card of having those conversations and really hashing something out, sitting it down and just working through things. The Five of Pentacles in their heart space, I do feel like this person does feel like they have disconnected and they do feel bad for that. They feel like you're feeling kind of left on your own in this. Um, the five of pentacles can also talk about um, feeling lack and worry. So I do, I feel like they have their own anxieties about things, but they've been missing you too. They have the seven of pentacles here for their intention. I like that actually. Seven of pentacles is a card of really analyzing something and deciding, do I want to invest more into this or not? Um, and the, I do feel like this person, especially with this Queen of Swords here and this Judgment card, I feel like they are making a decision, okay? And the Seven of Pentacles to me is feeling like they do want to invest into this connection. Especially with this Eight of Swords being the challenge, I feel like this person has been very in their head. They've been overthinking. For those of you, even for those of you where you guys have like been in separation, they've still been thinking about this. I feel like they have been in their head. They've been overthinking. They've been thinking about communicating. We got this page of wands, which can be, pages can be messengers with this wheel of fortune energy, you know, but they've been thinking about reaching out. They've been thinking about, you know, what they want to do and how they feel here. I do feel like they are making a major decision. We have the judgment card. That's their next action. Now the judgment card can talk about major realizations Okay, it can talk about feeling a call to action. So it's like, okay, I figured it out. I know what I want and I know what I need to do. So a judgment card can also talk about reconciliation. It can talk about resurrecting something that was thought to be lost. Okay, but I just feel like this is this person becoming very clear about what it is that they want moving forward with you. Then we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. I feel like they have been very, very upset, upset because they have hurt you, upset because they were in a space where they didn't know what they wanted and that caused a lot of pain and chaos. But the Nine of Swords in the Reverse is coming out of that energy, okay? So I definitely feel like they are becoming more clear, they are feeling more stable, and you guys are definitely coming back into alignment. I feel like you can expect a very, very positive face-to-face -face conversation with this person, very heartfelt where you guys are able to work through a lot of this. Um, it looks really lovely, okay? Um, that is what I have for you. I do hope that it helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.